go on a cruise again after watching this video look good yeah i've never been on a cruise but i can't imagine it's very fun being in a cramped like cruise ship after cost of concordia as well i don't know i ain't into it the ocean is a dangerous place you got no shit. rogue waves you got pirates wow. you got uh Cthulhu. So it might Cthulhu. surprise you to hear that in Not 2023, Cthulhu. over 30 million people willingly chose to go on a cruise. Personally, I can't imagine anything more horrific than being stuck in the middle of the ocean with thousands of potential serial killers. Not to mention, the cruise industry is fucking horrible. Disease, tax evasion, ex Yeah, wasn't there like a big thing with like, you know, the pandemic when there was that cruise ship that was stuck in the ocean for like a week or two exploitation of workers pollution murder the list goes on but we're not talking about any of that stuff today we're talking about one specific incident that will make you reconsider ever getting on a cruise ship again an incident okay. that's Almost come me. to be known as the poop cruise the poop cruise what the f what huh no spoilers, Chad. I genuinely don't know what about it. I don't know what it is. Don't spoil it. Poop the cruise. Poop, poop Cruise? Poop Cruise. 4,200 passengers on board. Ended up stranded at sea, spending six days crapping into a plastic bag. There's no light. What? Say that again. On board. Ended up stranded at sea, spending six days crapping into a plastic bag. Six days crapping into a... What? What? Plastic bag. There's no light no water uh we can't flush there's <gasps> and pits on the floors many passengers used red plastic bags as oh toilets human waste was actually piling up hundreds slept in hallways or topside to escape the foul and stagnant air oh my gosh that is horrible what the hell happened air below deck it's February literally 7th, an ocean. Yeah, just like hang your fucking ass overboard right here and just poop like like pro try to pro project your poop so that it falls this way and not down directly. I would I think they would stop you, man. I think they'd stop you, bro, because like if 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 your poop like hits the side, it, it'll like 13. <laughs> You're on the carnival triumph. One of the finest yeah, you'll shrink the sides, man. That's even series. worse. What do you mean, diarrhea? <laughs> restaurants, world class entertainment, and who could forget flushing toilets? toilets. Wow, you're in for the time of your life. After two days of smooth sailing, you arrive to the beautiful city of Cozumel, Mexico. Wow, where you spend the day shopping, very nice, sipping pina coladas on the beach. I love pina coladas. Trying not to think about the crippling third world poverty right outside the resort. Around 6 p.m., you get back to the boat. You hit the buffet and stuff your fat f face so much that you can barely breathe. Then, you decide to check out the cruise comedian. Huevos Ranchos. <laughs> Pico de Gallo. Is this supposed to be funny? Uh, all right, that was a bad idea. But the night is still young. Okay, good. So you head over to the Lido deck where the DJ plays Gangnam Style on repeat 27 times in a row. But you don't oh, want to. Style. <laughs> bum, 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 After bum, having bum. more than a few cocktails, you hit the buffet bum, one last bum, time bum, 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 back bum, bum, bum. and finally getting in bed. Time for some well-deserved rest before oh, hitting boy. the breakfast buffet in the morning. But just as you finally drift off, your sleep is interrupted by the sound of... <laughs> Alpha team is code for fire. Oh. The sound was blasting throughout the entire ship at 527. Oh my god. I would, let's back I would up be a bit. so scared. Just 15 I shook minutes my pants. earlier, the ship's engineer heard an alarm go off in the engine room. He immediately went to check it out, and to his horror, he saw that one of the diesel generators was spraying fuel all over the place. If oh he didn't my act god. Fast, the whole ship would go up in flames. He had to make it to the other side of the engine room to shut off the generator manually. Only one problem. The engine room was now flooded with gas up to his ankles. <gasps> one wrong move, and he would be burnt to a crisp. He oh, carefully no! started making his way to the control panel, and boom! The diesel ignited, and the engineer was incinerated.
I'm kidding. He was fine. The fuel. Oh, oh, thank God. I was like, dude, that makes me so sad. No way. He lived. No, I lived. Bit ignite, but he was able to make it out on time. But now there was a small issue of a massive fire in the engine room. That's when the Alpha Team message went out to the rest of the ship. Smoke was starting to fill up the lower decks. So we don't smoke on the job. Um, it could have been just him like walking around. Something else could have ignited it. It doesn't necessarily mean he has to be smoking. It could be, but I kind of doubt it. And thick clouds were spewing out of the ship's tail on the top deck. People were unsurprisingly like said so. freaking the fuck out. Many of them put on their life jackets and gathered near the lifeboats. Having a widespread panic yeah, on a ship is never a good thing. That's why you're not supposed to have your phone out technically while you're at a gas station like pumping because it, that can ignite fuel. Yeah, it's not great. Like it's it's the chances are low, but it's it, it can happen. It sucks. But so the captain told everyone to stay calm and that everything was under control. We are gonna be sorry about the. No one could understand what the hell he was saying because of his Italian accent, which also reminded them of the cost of Concordia. I don't know what is going on. Uh, please remain calm. <laughs> I couldn't understand what my captain was saying. I could understand him. Hey, I'm walking here. Funny accident from last year. Now everyone was freaking out even more. But then the cruise director, Jen, assured everyone that the situation was being handled and everything was going to be okay. Everything is completely under control. So please, folks, there's no point waiting in the muscle station to go back to your cabin, go back to bed, go and have some coffee, have some breakfast. This yeah, calm keep down, calm, guys. Things were pretty fucking far from okay. The fire was still raging in the engine room, so the captain gave the order to activate the CO2 cooling system, which quickly put out the fire. There we go. Captain Luigi saved the day. But just as he was getting ready to head back to his cabin for a celebratory plate of gabagool, one of the engineers gabagool! came back with terrible news. The fire had completely destroyed the engine. The boat was now stuck in the middle of the ocean with no power. Heh. <laughs> Only this could have been avoided somehow. Oh, wait, it could have? Well... We'll oh, no. 4,229 people were now lost at sea with no. I was about to say, they would have to drift all the way back, man. Air conditioning, no hot food, Big no. Piss. Oh, no. Piss. Yo, Tally, thank you so much for the prime. Dude, that's insane, man. TV, and worst of all, no toilets. No! This was not good. Cruise ships are some of the most filthy, vile places on the entire. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't want to go on a cruise. This shit fucking blows. My dog. Entire planet. And that's when the toilets are working. So you can only imagine how bad this is going to get. It didn't take long for shit to hit the fan. About nah, an hour no in, the intended. toilets were already getting clogged. So the crew started handing out the infamous red hazard bags for people ah! to poop in. And it was suggested that everyone should pee in the shower. As you probably know by now, the toilets are not flushing and it's going to start causing a little bit of a problem in a short... A little bit of a smell, a smelly smell, the poopy baggy smell. Oh, wow. So we've come up with a plan. So folks, what we're going to do is we're going to deliver some red bags to all of the bathrooms on board, including the stateroom bathrooms, your cabin bathrooms. And if you do need to do a number two, we ask that you please do deposit that into the red oh bags. My God, that... and she, gonna... She's laughing, but no, this is not funny. Put metal bins in the corridors on every deck on the ship if you would be so kind as to drop them into their metal oh bins my in the God. corridors that would be fantastic imagine the smell and if you do need to do a number one everybody to say filling up the toilet bowls if you can do it in the um, shower the lack of air conditioning was not helping things at all pretty soon most of the oh the circulation there's no circulation inside and they're putting it inside bro the ship was smelling like an arby's dumpster on a hot summer day a lot of people opted to move their mattresses out to the deck rather than sleeping inside with the stench. Oh my god. By the second day, the food supply was running dangerously low. And you might be asking, Very how? Cool. There's so much food on these ships. How could they have run out in a day? Well, you got to remember, 90% no of this food is frozen slop. So without working freezers, it was just sitting there decomposing, which only added to the already horrendous smell. And if that wasn't bad enough, 
some people were actually hoarding food. They were hiding hamburgers and cereal in their rooms like animals. Luckily, <laughs> another cruise ship, the Carnival Legend, came to the rescue and dropped off some much needed food and supplies. Aww. Good thing too, because pretty sure these people were about six hours away from eating each other. Now, this was no gourmet food by any means. Unlike the delicious meals from today's sponsor, Cook Unity. Yeah! Cook Unity is the first chef to consume a platform, Ed! meaning their meals nice are prepared segue, by ding individual dong. chefs Frick you, man. instead of in a factory. And they come straight to your door. All you gotta do is pop them in the microwave for a few minutes, and you can enjoy a delicious meal. Look at all these Edge. meals they sent me. Edge. They even have different options for different diets, like well. vegan, paleo, and gluten-free if you're into that. <laughs> Today, I'm going to go with the roasted chicken and creamy mushroom sauce from Chef Cedric Nicolas. And I got to say, it's pretty delicious, okay? The mashed potatoes actually remind me of the ones your mom makes. Those schlub meals on the carnival tramp are so gross right now. Even Benny was enjoying it. You know, since me and the oh, missus split a up a few years though. back, I find that cooking wastes a lot of time. And I could be using that time to make more YouTube videos. So I would say for the amount of time saved... Plus how scrumptious the food is, Cook Unity is definitely the move. And the nice thing about them is that the subscription is super flexible. You can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. So go to cookunity.com slash Dantavius50 or click the link in the description below and use my code Dantavius50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity. 50%, oh my gosh. And try them out for yourself. Thanks, Cook Unity. Now, where was I... Oh yeah, that's right. The carnival legend dropped off food, but without working microwaves and freezers, they were limited to things like cold hot dogs and onion sandwiches. That is but so that sad. That wasn't the bad part. The bad part was that people were forced to wait in line for hours to get food like they were in the Soviet Union or some shit. But hey, at least they weren't going to starve. Two more cruise ships would stop by that day and drop off more food, which pretty much solved their food shortages for the rest of the trip. Aww, but with one problem that's down, nice of them. more kept arising. One passenger was in urgent need of dialysis, so the court. What? <laughs> what? Wait, why are you on a cruise if you have? Oh my God! You have a life-threatening condition, and you go on a cruise. I would not risk that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie because if you're stranded outside, like it's not that bad, but it's like you're out in the middle of the ocean. Like, but come on. Coast Guard had to transport her to one of the other cruise ships so she could get to the hospital immediately. Which begs the question: Why didn't they just transfer everyone to another ship and just be done with it? Well, it turns out it's not as easy as putting a board between two boats and having everyone walk across. You know, it was just scary the way they put me down. Uh, they put me in in a stair rope. And um, the Coast Guard said that don't worry about it, that they would catch me and, and you know, they were going to hold me back. And they did. She didn't go like overboard, right? And then they transferred me to the bigger boat and, you know. These uh, ship to ship transfers are actually pretty risky and Carnival would rather have 4,000 pissed off people rather than one bad one. So for now, they were pretty much stuck on the Triumph with no way out. And not uh -oh. only did people have to stand in line for food, but also to charge their devices. Oh this my was going God. to be a massive problem. Isn't that a fucking fire hazard? What the hell? Hold on. Food, Is that an actual picture? Now, I kind of lose like a fire hazard with all the fucking wires and shit. Maybe I'm wrong. Their devices. Oh, this he was going to be a mess. He actually had it on the fucking tag. He had a text. I didn't even see That's that. I'm not going to lie. With I was no looking way at the to watch picture. Family Guy on their phones and tablets. The mood on the boat started to change. Everyone was starting to get a little bit more rowdy, a little bit more aggressive. Rocket. And the crew was doing everything in their power aggressive. to try to keep people distracted from the reality that they were living in. And hey guys, just because we're stuck in the middle of the ocean with, you know, no working toilets, doesn't mean we can't have some fun, all right? <laughs> but it wasn't enough. And the ship's competing was so bad that it was just making people more irritated. <laughs> That's how you unite people. You make them mad. It's Mexican cookie. What are you talking about? It's like a chocolate chip with sauce all over it? What are you talking about? You... This guy stinks! Management had to find a way to calm down the growing frustration or they might have a mutiny on their hands. So someone came up with the most brilliant idea ever. Free booze. An open bar was established.
Wait, but people are gonna shit and piss on themselves if they get too drunk. Like, I mean, I don't know. Well, Seems Lido like a death, bad idea. Believe me when I say, people took advantage. It took only about five minutes for the crew to realize how tremendously stupid their idea was. It's now, I don't same, know if you man. guys so have dumb. ever been on a cruise or not, and if you haven't, you're lucky to not have encountered a specific group of individuals who I call cruise people. And I use the term I have never people been on a cruise. lightly because they're basically animals. They shouldn't even be allowed to live in society, okay? We should just put them all on cruise ships and then sink them. So you have a bunch of agitated, psychotic cruise people who haven't been able to watch Family Guy for two days, and now they're absolutely plastered, okay? This was a okay. recipe for disaster. Yeah, Fights were course. breaking out. People were throwing furniture. They were pinging people the People are pool. breaking each other's According necks. According to one crew member, a few hours after the open bar, there was a blackout for 15 minutes. We had panic attacks, a fight, a person... This is why you bring books? Books are not gonna help, man, when you're stuck on a cruise ship for a week. Are you fucking kidding me? I get through one book in like fucking half a day. Are you out of your mind? And threatening to jump overboard, it got loud, didn't open the bars again. Yeah, the open bar didn't even uh, last uh, two uh, hours uh, before uh. they cut that shit off. And no more alcohol was served for the entire rest of the trip. But hey, it wasn't all bad news. That day, Jen made an announcement that a tugboat was on its way to tow the Triumph to the nearest port. For the tugboats, they were supposed to be here at noon today. The captain oh. has just advised me that the tugboats will be here slightly delayed at about three o'clock. I think it's to do with the fact that we've drifted away so far away in the wind. Oh no. On the third day, things were starting to look up. The engineers were able to restore some more power to the ship, which gave them more working toilets. Not a lot, you know, like like five. Uh, for like fucking a thousand people, I assume, because cruise ships are massive. I've working toilets for the entire ship of four thousand people. So four thousand people. Number one, waiting That's line terrible. for three hours to use the filthiest, most disgusting toilet imaginable. Oh or God. number two, go in a bag. Personally, I would have opted for number two. Oh, yeah. one thing I forgot to mention is that along with the propulsion systems and the power, the engine fire also knocked out the ship's stabilizers, which was slowly causing it to tilt. By day three, it was listing oh, at a no. five degree angle, which I know doesn't sound too bad, but it was enough to flood the- Oh my God. And those fucking shit bags tipping over everywhere. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Smell. The lower decks with pee pee. Like the carpets were literally soaked in urine. Now the water drains out. And yep. it's all squishy all over the floor. That is disgusting. Peapot, trash can with a trash bag. And then it goes under there. You think and five degrees is nothing, but it's a big deal. So it goes all the way up. And it'll all be soaking onto the porch soon. Hmm. Yeah, you can see it in the video. This is awesome. Watch it go down the stairs. No. Uh -oh. Turns Ew. out that telling people to pee in the shower on a boat with no plumbing was not the best idea. The stench had now spread through the entire ship. Anyone who didn't have a balcony moved up to the poop deck and formed a tent city. It was poop like deck. a cleaner version of downtown LA. <laughs> Meanwhile, the tugboats were now pulling the boat to land. Nishmel. Slowly, but there was a change of plans. By the time the tugboat arrived, the ship had drifted so far north that it was now closer to Mobile, Alabama than Progresso. So Alabama. the Coast Guard decided to tow the Triumph there instead. Everyone on board was horrified. The only thing worse than being stuck on a boat caked in human shit is being in Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> I, I truly can't. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> no, we don't know. Think of anything worse than that. Now, up to this point, Carnival Corporate had stayed silent about the situation, but God damn it, someone had to say something. So Thank Carnival you, CEO Alabama. stepped up and made a public statement. I think it's very important that I apologize Alabama. to our guests and to their families that have been affected by this very difficult situation. Meanwhile, Carnival's owner chose to show solidarity by attending a Miami Heat game. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm just gonna spend my time over here. Yeah. The boat was supposed to arrive in port today, but luckily it didn't or else this video would be way too short. The current was now going against the boat, which um. really slowed things down and the ship was moving at about two miles an hour. 
and there were still over 100 miles left. But hey, on the bright side, they were over halfway there. At around noon, a Coast Guard helicopter landed on the boat and delivered a much needed generator. Why they couldn't have done this earlier, I have no idea. But the generator <laughs> was able to restore enough power to get two of the elevators running, along with most of the toilets. And to the relief of the passengers, they now had Wi-Fi. The mood improved considerably once people were able to watch funny Family Guy compilations on YouTube again. <laughs> yeah, the shit still smells like fucking hell, but we got our Family Guy YouTube compilations AI. AI compilations. The boat was so close to Alabama, they could practically smell the incest. The captain originally predicted that they would dock sometime in the early afternoon, but they hit another snag on the way. See, the tugboat's tow line broke, which tacked on another few hours to their trip. But the Wi-Fi restored, uh -oh. people on board were starting to realize how big of a news story their situation was. CNN was basically covering it 24 hours a day, nonstop, drawing criticism from people like Jon Stewart. CNN has been on the case for some reason giving this boat crisis wall to <laughs> covered wall coverage. <laughs> I think I should mention a lot of people, including passengers, were saying that the media hype was overblown and the situation really wasn't as bad as they were making it out to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fucking bad. I wouldn't want to be stuck on this cruise ship for what, like now, five days? With shit everywhere? Said, I saw a few people crying, but honestly, without the dirtiness, it wouldn't be too bad. It was like camping on a cruise ship. You know, I thought this comment was funny because this is some cope. going on a cruise is basically the exact opposite of camping. But there's no doubt that the media definitely sensationalized this story. Some of the passengers who spoke to the press were even accused of exaggerating their stories to get on the news or to cash in on that sweet, sweet class action lawsuit. Nevertheless, it Bro, was an absolute. It's a. F there's piss everywhere, man. What do you mean? They're not overblowing it. There's literally videos. You are a disaster for Carnival. So corporate Shit had to piss do some serious everywhere. damage control before the boat docked. They offered everyone on board a full refund, five hundred dollars. Just a walk around it. Future... Did Did you like miss the last like five minutes of the video or something? Did you like mute it and turn it off? It seeped into the carpet, man. You can't walk around it. It seeped the whole thing because of the tilting of the ship. Cruise and a Long John Silver's gift card. What do you mean Most walk people around it? These concessions, but not everybody. But we'll get to that a little bit later, though. At 9:20 p.m., the Carnival Triumph docked in Mobile, Alabama. It was How horrifying. Over. Carnival CEO was the first on the scene and personally apologized to the passengers and crew. And I want to apologize oh, again no, for subjecting so our sorry. guests to that. But he wasn't alone, obviously. There were dozens of news crews chomping at the bit to get the juicy scoop on the poop cruise. Oh, Some passengers cruise. were eager to be on TV. Most just wanted to get the fuck out of there and go to sleep. And you would think that Carnival would book them hotels right there in Mobile, but nope. no. They inexplicably put everyone on buses to go to New Orleans, which was three hours away. Oh, and get this. What? On the way there, one of the buses broke down, leaving everyone on board stranded again. Out of oh habit, they immediately God. started shitting in bags. It was a disgusting scene. Eventually, everyone made it to the hotel in one piece. But Three that hours? wasn't the end of the drama with the Carnival Triumph. They couldn't just... While it was docked in Mobile's port oh for repairs, strong winds caused it to break free and drift across the shipyard. It eventually crashed into another ship, causing <laughs> one dock worker to lose his life in the process. Dude, no pun intended. What a fucking shit show, man. It crashed into, <laughs> into a ship. Process. Now, it should come as no surprise that a lot of people tried to sue Carnival for this fiasco, but uh, they had no case whatsoever. That is so sad. Apparently, man. mother suckers didn't read the fine print. Before you step foot on that cruise ship, you basically have to sign your life away. Whatever happens on that boat, yeah, this stays is on the boat. I, this is another reason. This is another reason. If you die on a cruise ship, they're not liable, even if it's their fault. It's so stupid. About it. These passengers have no right to sue. Because Carnival's attorneys say when you buy your ticket, the ticket contract makes absolutely no yep. guarantee for safe passage, a seaworthy vessel, adequate and wholesome food, and sanitary and safe living conditions. Carnival, because of that, is trying to get the suit tossed. So when it was all said and done, mm -hmm. none of the lawsuits went anywhere. Mm -hmm. They were shit out of luck.
Carnival said that the entire thing was an unavoidable accident. Oopsie was doopsie. Because according to Carnival's own documents, diesel generator number six, the very same generator that caused all these issues, was overdue for inspection for over a year. Uh -huh. And it gets worse. Two of the generators weren't even working at all. If those two generators <laughs> had been functioning, this whole situation could have been avoided. Not to mention, this wasn't the first time Carnival had problems with broken fuel lines causing engine fires. No, nope, never going on a year cruise. Nope, the trying, you can pay Carnival's me. Coast you can Allegra pay me to go. Had a similar problem They're where a broken a fuel line caused the fire and left 1,000 people stranded for three days. And in 2010, it happened again on the Carnival Splendor. In fact, this was the ninth incident in two years. Nice. One of Carnival's executives went on CNN and claimed that they were totally in compliance with the rules and regulations of yeah, the sea. Yeah, totally, of but course. Uh -huh. Here's a dirty secret about the cruise industry. Their regulations ain't worth shit. Carnival and every other American cruise company aren't even technically based in America. The cruise ships themselves are flagged in places like the Bahamas to avoid taxes. So they're not really held to the same level of scrutiny as something like the FAA. Remember, mm -hmm. the ship took off knowing that two generators didn't work. That's like a plane taking off with only one engine. Would that ever be allowed? <laughs> Overdue for a checkup for one year and then the other two don't work, but we're fine, guys. Copium. I sure hope so. Not. Sick, and you would man. think that this whole debacle would be a massive hit to Carnival, but the following year they had their most successful year ever, which just proves the saying all publicity is good publicity. The Carnival Triumph continues to sail to this very day go. under its new name the Carnival Sunrise. I would never, man. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, we're gonna drift for six days and shit into poop bags, but we're fine. Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking shit on calm, piss myself. Fuck, 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 piss, fuck, piss, 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 pi